we're designing and building a tiny house as an interdisciplinary learning project for the students. The students worked really hard when they found out this was going to be a real project and be built. They were very supportive of each other, but they were also very competitive and excited. So the sustainability office was our client. And they took the feedback from the sustainability office and from the professors uh, very seriously and they really worked to incorporate that into their designs because they really wanted theirs to be chosen, to be built. And the class decided to do a living building, which is the most rigorous criteria for sustainability. I started with the idea of the bee, it's a play of words. Back in the day, they used to have like sewing bees or like people came together for the harvest. So I thought it's really appropriate since sustainability should be a communal effort. So most of the students were in architecture one and they'd never had any architecture before. By week three or four, they were doing full building designs and they had to learn how to use CAD and 3D modeling. I think they're so much more engaged when there's an end product and they know it's going into something real. In engineering, it means you're actually designing and building something. I mean, you're collaborating with owners and architects, and that's what you do. You have all these projects as an engineer and you try to make it realistic, but it's actually not. If you miscalculate something like, oh, you do the presentation, but eventually no one's going to care, we actually have to think about, okay, like, what is this installation going to be? Or is this going to work? Because what you put down is actually what it's going to be.